Well, it's been a while since we've seen Alien in any way, shape or form, but uh, now we have Alien Isolation. I remember Colonial Marines so very well. I want <laughs> to forget it every day. Yes, um, but this certainly looks more like the original Alien film. Which is, a, which is a great thing. That movie is a great movie and it needs a great video game. Yeah. And I feel it matches it. Now, uh, what's weird about this game is it's Creative Assembly, the guys that made the Total War series, yes. taking a shot at this game. And, and they've always had a, like, they occasionally delve into games that aren't, total, uh, aren't specifically RTS on specifically yeah. RTS Total War games, yeah. but this to me is the first time they've, played, they've done something like this that I actually really dig. Yeah, and uh, I think what everyone's really enjoying about this game is it's about the single alien. They're hunting right. you. Uh, you ha you're a person. You're not some superhuman soldier that can shoot everything down. You're pretty much spending the entire game hiding from the alien or from the robots or from other humans as it's, well. And it's just perfectly tense. Like, I'm just having to crawl, uh, crab walk through everything because I am just shit scared that all of a sudden I'm going to uh, I'm gonna turn around a corner and the alien is just going to kill the shit out of me. It's just, it's amazingly terrifying and I love it. Yeah, uh, it's not necessarily all jump scares or anything. Right, it's, it's, it's just, it's tension. Yeah. Like, much like with the original movie. Yeah, so, so it is there in a little bit, but uh, you are fearful of this alien because it, it's a bit of a harder game because that alien can pretty much one-shot you as soon and as it sees you. And it doesn't help that there are no autosaves. You actually have to manually checkpoint everything, and those checkpoints yep. are kind of few and far between, which it makes sense because you, if you have too many checkpoints, it kills attention. Yeah. But at the same time, if you die, you've just you you've wasted 15 minutes. Yeah, I did lose half an hour at one point. Oof. But um, yeah, it, it all adds to the game. I think it mm. works out really well. I, I did have a few gripes with it. It was a bit long for what it was. It took me about 15 hours to get through. But I right. think five of those hours I spent hands-off keyboard in a locker waiting for the alien of to course. go by. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I dig the game a lot, but I just I don't like some of the tropes they use to kind of convey the story of the space station you're on. So there's all those audio logs or just graffiti yeah. around. Just It, feels, very... o it feels overused. And it's yeah. like that doesn't really clash because you have this beautiful looking spaceship. It's just the lighting is incredible and it has the 70s aesthetic from the original movie, but all that graffiti just kills it for me. Yeah, and there's like uh, CRTs everywhere. It's very Which like awesome. old school sci-fi. And it's great. Really cool. Um, that said, I don't think it would have been as good a game if the soundtrack wasn't amazing because mm. that is what makes it so tense. Uh, just even walking past... Uh, the robots in the end don't really become that... They're, they're a bit of a pushover in the end because you can just run away from them. But the, without the music, I think uh, it, works. it would be a lesser game. It absolutely works. So... Yeah. Look, I dig it. Tim, you seem to dig it. Yep. So if you're looking for a great new game to check out, Alien Isolation, it's pretty much available on everything. So give it a shot.